actually I have to start with my father because he is the one who got honored by the Right Livelihood Award uh, 2003. And it was because of his work he built up in Egypt. And he started greening the desert. He started giving jobs to the people around this area from the villages. But at the same time, he always had a vision of building up a cultural place. So from the very beginning, he was teaching the people. And from the very beginning, um, he, he had an ear and eyes for people with needs, with disabilities. And he wanted his place to be a place for everyone, no matter what religion, no matter what education. And a lot of people told him it is not possible <clears throat> to make this piece of earth green. Even uh, people from abroad, from Europe, warned him and told him, take care. But he had such a strong vision and he believed in his vision, so he kept on going his way. When you look today at Sekem, you will find a green oasis. You will find over 1,400 people working there. Um, we, he built up a kindergarten, a school, a vocational training center. And even seven years ago, he founded a university. What is, I think, very important when I talk for my dear father, because he passed away three years ago, it was this intercultural life. So he went abroad as a young, young man to Europe and he got the chance to learn so much, not only in a scientific way, also out of the culture. And then when he went back, he had always this strong connection with Europe. People who supported him, supported his idea. And it was always this very strong connection. And I think this is somehow this, the secret of Sikkim. We know it is an education place. So, people can work to educate themselves, not only to gain money. So every week we have meetings where we talk about philosophy, art. We work a lot with art. So my father was actually an artist. He believed in the power of art. Or oh, my work nowadays is that I try to contribute in our university. Our university is seven years old, still young, but we have a strong vision. We want to change the education. We want to step out of the traditional way of education where we ask students to sit and to listen day in, day out, for hours, instead of being active, instead of showing us, teaching us, because they are very near to the spiritual world yet. So we are just in this transformation process and we work hard to do this step with the strong vision that in the future, education will be so different. We will not need lectures anymore because information you can get everywhere. But you need to connect with people. You need 
to talk with people, to share with people, to learn from people and to act with people. This is actually how we believe that education should be. So we have this core program in our university where every student has to take art beside his faculty subjects in order to strengthen his personality. And um, yes, with this secret of art, we want to transform. We don't want only to add art, we want to transform the education with art. And um, this is our vision, this is what I work for. And my, my hope or my call for young people would be to say, um, just always trust your feelings and your inner call. And step out, um, make a revolution, don't continue in this traditional way. Um, stand up and talk about your needs and talk about your dreams and people will listen. So I hear this from so many students that they don't learn this way, that they are forced to sit hours and hours to concentrate and just to listen to information. If we would try to do so, we would fall asleep after half an hour, right? We, we can't do it. So I want to encourage the students to help us and to speak up. <laughs>